Hi guys, so today's video, um, it's just gonna be hopefully a quick one. <laughs> I got a bunch of stuff from Pat McGrath in their Black Friday sale and a lot of it is the holiday collection so I figured I'd just do a really quick review whether I think it's worth it. Okay, I swear this isn't gonna become a regular thing. I filmed this video not long after I got my Black Friday items and I wanted to get my Yorkscast video out first and work's been busy. So by the time I've come around to edit in this weekend, I've realized that the majority of these products are sold out and I'm pretty sure they're not bringing them back. However, I figured I would rather put out the video because they just brought out a Star Wars collection. I'm sure a lot of the formulas and stuff are gonna be very similar. The sort of packaging and things like that are gonna be very similar of like the quality, not obviously the exact packaging. So I figured I would rather still put out the video because I'm just trying to give you my opinion on Pat McGrath recent formulas. So I figured I would just still put out the video. I apologize that a lot of these products aren't available anymore. If you see them or you know, if you get it as a Christmas present, <laughs> hopefully you'll enjoy them because the majority of these products I really, really like. That was kind of a spoiler. I got one of them completely for free. If I had a bigger channel, I would give this away. <laughs> Maybe I'll sell it or something, but because at the moment, I have no idea if I'm ever gonna use these shades, which considering these quads are normally like 40 or 50 quid, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with that yet, but I did get something very, very neutral toned, what a surprise. <laughs> I got this out of the two holiday palettes and I am already in love with this. I have tested these products out to figure out the formulas and stuff like that. Even though it's just a small palette, I mean, it is 40 quid, is actually magnetic, which considering it's one of the more affordable ones, I've tried some of the more affordable, affordable. Well, I've tried some of the like five pan palettes from Pat McGrath, very clear plastic, which I didn't really like the formula of. It wasn't the same as the 180 pound palette. If it was the same formula as that, uh, but smaller, I think it would have been worth the price because it was about 25 quid. I've also tried the like six pan palettes. I've still got it. I've got like the bronze obsession one. I do really like it. All the shades I think is a bit chalky, but the shimmers are really, really pretty. Although kind of standard, I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, I'm gonna shut the fuck up because <laughs> I've been talking for ages and I'm gonna put some of these shades on. It does come with a little mirror in the palette, so I'm just gonna use this. Um, it comes with simply just a matte black, which isn't the most pitch black, I will say, because I had to build this up a little bit the last time I used it, and then it comes with a bunch of shimmers, which I will insert swatches for. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this, and I'm gonna be really careful, because I've had to see my base first, so I don't scare the shit out of you guys. Oh yeah, I also got, I forgot to mention, if you wanna see an actual video, for the Pat McGrath concealer, let me know. But I heard Robert Welsh talking really nicely about it. So I thought it was worth a try because anything Robert Welsh likes, because he also has oily skin and he's a makeup artist I genuinely trust. I will always check out and I don't know, I have it on. I don't know how well you can tell, but my nose is quite dry. My eyes, under eyes look a little bit drier than normal and I'm wearing exactly the same powder. I blended this out with my finger instead of a brush today to try and get the best possible for this and it's just not great. Even my chin, chin, nose, uh, I basically put it down here and then I set it with my under eye setting powder that I always use. It's just super drying which I'm really sad about because I was really really looking forward to it. I like the component, the component's glass but yeah I am definitely disappointed in the formula. I thought it'd be way better. I'm basically just putting a little bit of black on just to give myself a little something. Casper's. Casper wants attention. I know you want attention but I got a film. It can't take your weight. You're big cat. You're too heavy. I'm gonna use the bronze just a little bit. I will say this formula is so nice. I'm basically gonna go on top of that black. These are so, so smooth and creamy. Completely different from the other smaller palettes that I've tried. I don't know if maybe the holiday formula is better in the smaller palettes than the, the any other time of year palettes. I'm gonna take this one. I basically wanna try and use as many shades as I can. I'm gonna put that in the middle. I just kinda wanna see if you can do a whole look with just this palette. And I'm gonna take this shade. I'm basically doing ombre with the colours. I'm just going to blend the edges a little bit. I feel like I'm just going to get black everywhere, so I'm going to go in with a clean brush in a second. Cleaner brush, anyway. I really just didn't want to use a clean brush just for this. And then I'm going to take that same brush, and because my eyes don't look great anyway, I'm basically just going to take that black under my lower lash line. You know, the goth things in considering that Wednesday Adams is the new thing. Can we just talk about how annoying it is? Goth becomes a trend 
and all the kids, including me, who were bullied to shit for being a goth kid, still get shit for being a goth kid, even though it's like the new trendy thing. And then I'm gonna use the silver in the middle. I'll always be a, a goth emo. I'm basically just using it as an inner corner and like to highlight just under my eye. And I'm gonna do my little trick to bring a lot of brightness to the eye. You gotta be kind of careful because these are almost like creamy. So certain brushes can kind of, I don't know if you can tell, like there, as if it was a ColourPop shadow where it's almost like textured. I need to get a brush and just try and get rid of as much as possible. Overall, I really, really like this. If the formula is exactly the same, you like those shades, I think you'll really like this. It doesn't feel like a holiday cheap palette, even though it is like cardboard. It still feels Pat McGrath luxurious with the um, magnet. I couldn't remember the word. Let me put some eyeliner and mascara on and then I'll come back for blush, highlighter and lipstick. Just used my Benefit roller liner, whatever it's called. And then I used my Pat McGrath mascara because it's my holy grail. So I got the highlighter, which looks like this. Very, very pretty. And if you've been here for any length of time, you may already know that I already have a Pat McGrath highlighter, which is my holy, holy, holy grail. It's the prettiest highlighter I've ever used. This, however, isn't as <laughs> pretty. And I bought the she did a collaboration with someone and i can't remember what the fuck it's called i tried that highlighter formula and it was very similar to this unfortunately where it's really glittery it's pretty it's still a nice highlighter but it has got a bunch of glitter in it so if you don't like glittery highlighters as gorgeous as this is and it is really pretty it's really glittery let me see if you can sort of tell did i even get any I don't know if, how well you can tell. Maybe if I turn the light down a little bit. So because there's glitter, it is a bit more textured. So I got a separate blush and a separate highlighter because I, I don't really use palettes anymore. So I just didn't see the point in buying that. However, I've heard that the highlighters in those palettes, I, got, I think that they may not be glittery. They may be the formula I prefer. I mean, this is still nice. This is like, if you're going out kind of highlighter, this is not a running to the shops. Highlighter. There's so much glitter. It's definitely a holiday highlighter. And then I also got, like, I'm not really a pink person, but this is really pretty. I just gave you a bunch of catnip. Why don't you go sit down? Go be a good boy. Most of it has this kind of packaging. So I got a <laughs> neutrally brush. What a surprise. So this is nicely pigmented. It lasts quite long, which is nice. This is actually a bit more mauve than I was expecting, but it's okay. It's still a nice everyday kind of blush. It's like pinky mauve kind of shade. It's very pretty. I don't know what to say. The embossing again is really nice. I've used this at least three or four times and it hasn't changed. Similar with the highlighter. The highlighter you can kind of see there's glitter around here. The embossing's all cool. So lastly is lips. I'll show you a swatch of the lipsticks. The lipsticks are really nice. I'm gonna put on the red even though it doesn't go with my outfit at all. Well, the pink does. <laughs> this is what the packaging looks like. Again, it has the Christmas kind of emblem all over it. it. Still has the lips. And then if you turn the tube, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it. You can probably see it better on the red. This is actually a lot warmer than I was expecting. And they smell weird. They smell a little bit like crayons. Not like gone off lipstick. It actually has the exact same emblem, but embossed into the lipstick. I'm doing that here so you can hopefully see it a bit better. Okay, I'm gonna put on a lip liner. I don't really have many red lip liners, so I'm gonna use this old Gigi Hadid one, because this never gets used. It's actually more orangey, to be honest, but it's what I have. I don't really wear orangey shades, hence why this has hardly been used. I have a Marilyn Monroe kit, which has a red lip liner in it. I probably should have grabbed that. is not perfect whatsoever but i'm gonna change it after this video this is the color it's really really gorgeous deep red well not deep but like some reds can lean a bit more pink this is like a blue toned i want to say i wanted to get this one because i wanted a matte 
comfortable red lipstick. I do wear red lipstick every now and then, not very often, but when I do, I only really have liquid lipsticks and every now and then if I want to do a red for a video, it I want it to be comfortable and I don't want it to be cracking. It's nice. I will say I've wanted to try a few of the Pat McGrath matte lipsticks because they're meant to be super duper matte and it is a matte formula it's it doesn't have that sort of creamy shine I mean, it does feel creamy this is really hard to explain <laughs> i was expecting it to be like liquid lipstick kind of matte less transferable but it's very much transferable and it probably stains don't do that on christmas <laughs> so overall the concealer i was a little bit disappointed with it feels kind of drying i'm gonna keep testing it out because i really want to try and like it um, i got a very yellow toned shade because i always go way too light and now i feel like maybe i've gone too yellow dryingness must be from the formula it just looks drying it looks drying and it looks heavy the palette 100 percent really really good every single one of the shimmers feels really really creamy the black isn't the best black I'm going to be honest, I think Pat McGrath has better black eyeshadows in her bigger palettes. Maybe a brown or something probably would have been better with those shades. The highlighter is nice but very glittery, so I think it's overpriced. The blush, really nice. I think all of her blushes are gorgeous and her blush form is really nice. Lastly, the lipsticks. The red is absolutely stunning. I genuinely think if you like reds like this, you will absolutely adore this because it feels nice and comfortable. The nude shade is actually quite warm so if you like warm shades I think you'll really like this. If you want more neutral or cool tone like I normally prefer this isn't going to be for you. So yeah if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give this a like and subscribe if you feel like it I'd really appreciate it. I don't do makeup videos that often I'm pretty much a commentary channel I basically post whatever I feel like but if there is anything that you want me to test out whether it's doing a makeup challenge or a makeup review or anything like that let me know in a comment and I'll see whether that's something I'm interested in doing if it is. I will do that. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you all very soon in the next one. Bye!